What if the future of space exploration hinged on the power of the atom? What role does nuclear energy play in our quest to conquer the cosmos? These questions may seem like they're pulled straight from a science fiction novel, but they're closer to reality than you might think. In the boundless expanse of space, the need for a reliable, efficient and powerful energy source is paramount. Traditional fuel sources simply won't cut it when we're talking about long-term missions to the Moon, Mars and beyond. This is where nuclear power comes into play. With its high energy density and potential for long-lasting power generation, nuclear energy could be the key to unlocking the next chapter of space exploration. Now, let's bring this idea down from the realms of the abstract and into the realm of the concrete. Recently, Roscosmos, Russia's space agency, and the China National Space Administration, or CNSA, have joined forces with a bold and ambitious plan to deploy a nuclear reactor on the moon by the year 2035. This collaboration, solidified through the International Lunar Research Station Initiative, aims to develop technologies for future lunar settlements with a specific focus on communication and power systems. Across the globe, NASA and the US Department of Energy are also making strides in space nuclear technologies. They've selected three design concept proposals for a 40 kilowatt class fission power system to be demonstrated on the moon by the end of the decade. Small, lightweight and reliable, these systems could provide continuous power in various environmental conditions, paving the way for long duration missions not only to our lunar neighbor, but also to the red plains of Mars. So what does this all mean? Well, it's simple. As we push the boundaries of human exploration, as we endeavor to set foot on distant worlds and unravel the mysteries of the cosmos, one thing becomes clear. The future of space exploration is nuclear. It's the atom that could power our dreams of a future among the stars, fueling our voyages to the farthest reaches of our solar system and beyond. As we delve deeper into the cosmos, the significance of nuclear power becomes increasingly apparent. Two giants in space exploration, Roscosmos and CNSA, have joined forces to harness the power of the atom on the moon. This partnership between Russia and China is not just a meeting of minds, but a fusion of ambitions, technologies and resources aimed at achieving a common goal, deploying a nuclear reactor on the moon by the year 2035. The cornerstone of this collaboration is the International Lunar Research Station. This ambitious project, which is more than just a lunar outpost, is a testament to the shared vision of these two space giants. With China contributing missions, Chang'e 6, 7 and 8, the research station will serve as a hub for advanced scientific research, exploration and perhaps even the beginning of lunar colonization. But why a nuclear reactor on the moon, you may ask? The answer lies in the need for a reliable, continuous power source in the harsh lunar environment. Solar power, while abundant, is inconsistent due to the moon's long nights. Nuclear power, on the other hand, can provide a steady stream of energy, vital for long-term missions and potential lunar settlements. However, the journey to a lunar nuclear power plant is not without its challenges. The harsh conditions of the lunar surface, the complexities of nuclear technology and the sheer logistics of transporting and installing a nuclear reactor on the moon are just a few of the obstacles that stand in the way. Yet, Roscosmos and CNSA remain undeterred. Despite the setbacks, they continue to forge ahead, driven by the vision of a future where humans are not just visitors, but inhabitants of the moon. The collaboration is not just about developing a lunar nuclear power plant, but about pioneering technologies for future lunar settlements, focusing on communication and power systems. In this grand scheme, every setback is a stepping stone, every challenge an opportunity, and every failure a lesson. The goal is not just to reach the moon, but to create a sustainable presence there. And in this endeavor, Russia and China stand shoulder to shoulder, their eyes set on the same prize, the moon. Despite the challenges ahead, this collaboration aims to pioneer technologies for future lunar settlements. Meanwhile, NASA and the US Department of Energy are not far behind in the nuclear race in space. They're working in harmony to advance space nuclear technologies, with a keen focus on the Moon. Their joint efforts have led to the birth of the Artemis Concept Awards, a unique initiative that is fueling the development of space nuclear power. Under the Artemis Concept Awards, NASA has selected three design concept proposals for a fission surface power system. 
Each contract, valued at $5 million, funds the development of initial design concepts for a 40 kilowatt class fission power system. These designs are expected to be small, lightweight, and reliable. All crucial factors when considering the harsh and unpredictable conditions of outer space. The collaboration between NASA and the U.S. Department of Energy is managed by the Idaho National Laboratory. Their ultimate goal? To establish nuclear power on the moon. And if that isn't ambitious enough, they're also setting their sights on Mars. The significance of their endeavors cannot be overstated. The establishment of nuclear power in space could revolutionize our approach to long-duration missions. It would mean a consistent, reliable source of power irrespective of the environmental conditions. This could open up a world of possibilities, quite literally, for future lunar settlements. The benefits of these advancements extend beyond the moon. They could also lead to the joint development of a full flight certified fission power system and advancements in nuclear propulsion systems for deep space exploration missions. Just imagine what this could mean for our understanding of the universe. These developments could pave the way for long-duration missions on the Moon and Mars. The race is on and the finish line is a new frontier in space exploration. So, when can we expect these nuclear-powered missions to become a reality? Let's delve into the timeline of these ambitious projects and their key milestones. Starting off, Russia and China are working in unison to deploy a nuclear reactor on the Moon. This collaborative project solidified through a memorandum of understanding for the International Lunar Research Station is eyeing completion by the year 2035. In the build-up to this, China is contributing missions Chang 6, 7 and 8. Despite having encountered a few setbacks along the way, the partners remain steadfast in their commitment to develop technologies vital for future lunar settlements, with a special focus on communication and power systems. On the other side of the globe, NASA, in collaboration with the U.S. Department of Energy, is also advancing space nuclear technologies. They've selected three design concept proposals for a fission surface power system, each valued at $5 million. These systems, being small, lightweight and reliable, could provide continuous power in various environmental conditions. The objective is to demonstrate this system on the moon by the end of the decade. Managed by the Idaho National Laboratory, this project aims to establish nuclear power on the moon. The successful implementation could potentially lead to joint development of a full flight certified fission power system and advancements in nuclear propulsion systems for deep space exploration missions. So the timeline is set and the milestones are laid out. The next decade is going to be an exciting period with these nuclear powered missions expected to transform the landscape of space exploration. The clock is ticking and the next decade promises to be a thrilling ride in the world of space exploration. As we stand on the brink of a new era in space exploration, let's take a moment to reflect on what we've discussed today. We delved into the daring future of lunar exploration, where nuclear power takes center stage. The moon, our celestial neighbor, is set to host power plants that harness nuclear energy, a leap that brings us closer to long-term lunar settlements and deep space exploration. We touched upon the ambitious collaboration between Russia's Roscosmos and China's CNSA. These two space giants are pooling their resources, expertise and aspirations to deploy a nuclear reactor on the moon by the year 2035. This partnership, despite its challenges, is steadfast in its commitment to advancing lunar technology with a focus on power systems and communication. Parallel to this, we explored NASA's endeavors in tandem with the US Department of Energy. Together, they are pioneering the development of space nuclear technologies with three design concepts for a 40 kilowatt class fission power system. Small, lightweight and reliable, these systems are expected to provide continuous power under various lunar conditions, preparing us for long duration missions on the Moon and even Mars. We also looked at the projected timeline and milestones. With automated missions and a nuclear powered cargo spaceship, the International Lunar Research Station is set to be a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless quest for knowledge. So what does this all mean for the future? It signifies a shift in how we approach space exploration. Nuclear power, with its promise of reliable and continuous energy, could be the key to unlocking the mysteries of our universe. 
it could extend our reach beyond the moon to Mars and perhaps even further into the cosmos. As we gaze into the cosmos, one thing is clear, the future of space exploration is nuclear.